And what demands is, therefore, your product or services. This, now, this is critical. Do you see the difference between this and a hustle is? You go out in the corner, you can't, you know, your market is whoever walked by you and feel okay, and you're hoping that they're going to buy something from you, okay? But a business is a little different. A business is different. Identify, describe your market, who are your customers, and what is the demand for your product or service? Um, do you remember the, um, uh, I want to use it, the right term, it's a, it's going to come to me. Uh, but anyway, I said, if you want to be successful in the business, there's a, a catch, I'll use that, that you should use. Uh, and almost every business out there fits into it. You first identify a need so or problem. Demand. Right. Identify a need or problem. Then develop a solution to the need or the problem. Then turn the solution into a business. All right. Um, if you can use that philosophy in whatever business, you're in, and if if you would take that philosophy, just write it down. Remember, and look at any business that's out there going, and it will fit into it. If you go back to its rich, the origins of that business, it was it, it gets started because of a need or a problem they want to resolve. Okay, and they develop a solution to it. They develop something, a solution to it, and then they turn that into a business. That's what Microsoft did. That's what Apple did. Uh, that's in the technology. But if anyone, Sears, any business you want to go out to, McDonald's, when they first started one, the first McDonald's, we just sell them burgers. But they were still on fat. So if you go back to any business, uh, there was a need or a problem that they were trying to address. And then someone turned that into, uh, 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 developed a, a solution to it, and then turned that into a business. All right. So, Describe your channels of distribution. That means after you develop your market, or describe your market, your products and services, and who your customers are, how, now, how are you going to distribute? How develop and, and, and describe in your business plan your channels of distribution. Where are you going to originally get your product from? How are you going to get it to the particular location where you are going to sell from? You know, that's the distribution, that's in terms of distribution. Are you going to be a distributor? Or are you selling directly to the, to the public? All right? Uh, all these questions you should ask yourself and pull this together in your business plan. Then explain your sales strategy specific to pricing, promotion, products, and place. Very important. Okay, they call it the four P's. All right? Explain your sales strategy specific to pricing. How are you going to price your product? You know, who's your competition out there? So how are you going to price your product? How are you going to promote it? How are you going to promote the product? Or service. And then, where's, where places? Where are you going to sell from? Okay. I have my business, I sell from several places. I have a website <coughs> on the internet, on the in the net. I have a little setup out here where I run a spot here at the Moss Cares every first Sunday and sell. And, uh, and I go other way. So, I've got various areas that I can sell, and I'm up 24 7 on the website. So, I'm saying? So, so, that much I know in terms of how I'm selling with my, with my product. I can tell you about promoting, so I'll, but I want to wait till we get into um, next first Sunday down where I can talk about the individual aspects of this. Because uh, the next uh, first Sunday presentation is going to be on how to raise money for your, um, for your business. Where are the areas you can raise money for your business? So now you can see why I decided to do the business plan first and do this first. Because if I start talking about how to raise money for your business, but you don't know how to <coughs> package yourself, and present yourself to go in to get the money, I'm putting the car before the horse. Okay? You need to know how to present yourself before you go in and try to get the money. Because uh, I'm going to tell you some avenues that are out there that money is available. All right, but you want to look good when you get ready to go out there the way you want to look the best you can. Okay, so after reviewing this section of marketing and sales strategy, after reviewing this section, the SBA said this is what the reader should know. Whoever's reading your business plan, this is what they should be able to know. Who your market is and how you will reach it. Okay? Who your market is and how you're going to reach your market. Right? How your company will apply pricing, promotion, product, they call it diversification. 
you know, different products. You know, that they don't have just one type of product, but you may have different products. Product diversification, and then channels of distribution to sell your product or service competitively. And this is the key thing, okay? Because I don't know what your product or service may be, but I'm certain there's probably somebody else out there that's probably got a similar product or service. Now, if they're not in your area, that may be great. But you do need to know who your competition is, all right? And, and uh, then, so how do you price your product, and how do you engage your competition? What are you going to distinguish yourself to be different than your competition, and why should someone come buy from you as opposed to buying from your competition, all right? Okay, so that's what a reader should uh, be able to attain once they read this <coughs> business plan. Now, uh, that's all five sections, so let me just review them so that, because there are some people here who are new, I don't remember seeing their faces at the last first Sunday. So let me just uh, tell you what the five sections of the business plan are. I'm not going to go back into detail, but let me tell you what they are. Um, your business description and vision. That's the first section. The business description and the vision for your business. The definition of the market. That's a little different, but the definition of your market. The description of your products and services. The description of your products and services. <clears throat> Organization and management. How your business is organized and how you manage your business. Then, of course, financial management. And we just kind of, financial management. And then you can generate the, um, you can generate the plan. So, let me put here. See, after you put everything in the template, this is the last thing you fill in. The company name, address, this information. And there's a little button here that you just click. And it generates the plan for you. And then you can save it in what they call a Word, a Word document. Save in the Word document, and then you print it out. Save it in the Word document, print it out, and then you can go back to it and make any changes you need to make to it. Um, have someone else, and you should have some other people read it. Um, do they understand exactly what SBA said they should get out of it from reading your plan? If they don't, you need to tweak. You need to tweak it. And in fact, and just ask them. Okay, what about this you didn't understand? This is what I was trying to say. Did, did, is that what I said here? Did you understand that? And they say, no, they really didn't come through. So you need to go look back at it again. And don't be afraid to get some help with this. This is your business. This is this is this is your plan for your business. All right. And like I say, it's not simply just to get money. And that's one purpose of it, but more is for you. A plan is like a budget. You change it based on factors and therefore, you know, you change it. And so this is what you want to do. This, this, is, the, this is the real value. Uh, now, there are, as I said a little earlier, there are several books, there are many books, that, that cost you money, that will tell you what you need to do to help develop you a business plan. If you use this resource free and do this first, if you want to consult anything beyond this, you've got all the bases laid out. All you need to do is just embellish it or enhance it, okay? And uh, based on who you're going to submit that plan to, you're going to be submitting it to a bank, you're going to submit it to some investors, a group of investors, they're going to want to know similar uh, information, all right, about your, uh, your plan. Okay, so okay. when you do the generation, you have that, that to develop your title page, you can print it out, and then, there you got it. You got a business. You got your business plan. And uh, if you just take your time and put it together, you can put a good document together, a real good document together. That represents your business. And if you got more than one business, you should have more than one plan. You should have a plan for each of the businesses that you have. If they're distinct and different, you should have a plan for each one. But once you've done one, it's easy to do. It's easy to do more because all you do is tweak it for that particular business that you are uh, developing the plan for. Okay. So, um, that's all I want to talk about uh, business plan for right now. Um, are there any questions? Anybody have any questions of what I've said? And I know uh -huh. those of you who are new, and this, just, this part of it is new to you, uh, the first part of the uh, presentation is on the, is on, um, on the YouTube. Just go to YouTube, type in the Moss Cares, and you'll see uh, part one of writing a business plan. It'll be there. And all the information is there. And the beauty is, it's free. All you gotta do is 
get access to a computer or your smartphone or go to the library.